All right, Coach, we've not talked to you since uh, you made some personal changes with your coaching staff and Jack Del Rio and Brent Mieselmeyer. Um, from what you saw after looking at the film uh, of the Dallas game, what, what was it that you thought, well, we, we have got to make this change? Well, I, I just think, again, sometimes you get into a rut. Sometimes things just kind of snowball, the snowball effect going downhill, and just, you know, try to shake it up, see if, 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 if something can, can be a little bit of a spark. Mm -hmm. you, you go to your owner and say, look, this is what I want to do. Um, can you, without obviously giving personal details, how did that conversation go? I thought the conversation went well. I mean, I, I just explained to him, look, this is something I, I think we need to do based on certain things that I've seen, and you know, we'd like to make that move. And I just told him, I said, this is something that uh, I feel can uh, potentially shake some things up and, and, and maybe see what happens. Look, this is a business and folks who are outside this building are like, they want heads to roll. Jack Del Rio is a personal friend of yours. Mm -hmm. You've known him for a long time. Yep. How difficult is that discussion to be had? It's, well, it's very difficult to be had. I mean, again, I got a lot of respect for who Jack is. Jack's had a tremendous amount of s success in this league as not just a, a player, but as a coach. And, you know, you hate seeing that happen. You really do. And it's just, you know, you get also to a certain point, as you said, it's, it becomes business that you've got to make a decision that's tough. Yeah, you've, you're going to call uh, defensive plays, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how, you, you've been out of it for a while. Not to say you've lost it because you've been a head coach of a football team for a long time. Um, how, how, how has your schedule changed in that regard? <laughs> well, it's been real busy. I mean, you know, we, um, you know, we worked on Friday, worked on, on Saturday, took some time yesterday, and then came back in, you know, early this morning, got started again. And, you know, the one thing is, you know, this year being involved, um, you know, in, 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 in the offense, watching our offense a little bit more than mm -hmm. I had in the past, you know, I, I was, you know, keeping my eye on things. Um, on both sides of the ball, I've got a little different perspective on things. Sure. So we'll see how that works. You know, I was, I was out of the anchor chair for a couple of years, just doing my own thing, calling games. And they said, you want to come back to Channel 9 and do this? I was like, hmm, there's a grind. You're going right back in the first game you're calling defense for is against the Miami Dolphins. What kind of problems do they present you guys? Well, they present problems because of the way they, they play. Um, Mike McDonald's done a great job. He really has. <laughs> um, you know, he, he spreads you out. He moves you around. You know, they're, they're looking to, to create leverages. They're, they're looking to put them, you know, their guys in, in positions that they feel are advantageous and forcing you to react to them. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's really just, again, getting back to, to work in, in terms of preparation and, and really getting to know your opponent. I think that's one of the things that you've got to be able to handle, and, and that is who your opponent is and what your opponent likes to do. There was some question about Tua coming into the league. Was he too small? Did he have an accurate arm? Uh, those questions have been, certainly been answered. What I mean, how good is he right now? Oh, he's very good, and I, I think for what, 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 what Coach does, for, for, for what Mike does, um, I think Tua fits him very well. Tua is a very smart football player with tremendous anticipation. Um, he does have uh, a really good touch. And again, you, you've got to be able to do certain things against this offense, because if not, you, you know, you're going to be off to the races constantly. Right. You, don't, you guys haven't had your bye week yet. You, you got a little 10 day, 10 day break, but in that break, you've now changed positions a little bit. Um, what's the team psyche right now, do you, do you think? Um, I think it's pretty good. I, I, I'd, I'd like to believe that, you know, last game we played, we, had a, we were in a good situation going into the fourth quarter. And, it got away from us. Um, again, there were some positive things, some good things that, that, that we saw early on in that game. Um, but then there were some things that we most certainly got to get corrected. All right. Last question. Well, actually not last question. Two questions. Did you have a chance at all to celebrate Thanksgiving? Oh, we did. Yeah. We did. You know, we worked all day Friday, um, got home around 6, and, and, and Stephanie had prepared a, a tremendous uh, Thanksgiving. We had uh, nine people over. And, nice. You know, nieces and nephews, and it was really good. Did you go into a food coma? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and last question, this franchise 16 years ago lost Sean Taylor. He's a guy that, well, you don't game plan against him because you're on the defensive side, but certainly you have seen him, mm -hmm. faced him. Um, what, what do you think, uh, legacy's maybe not the right word, but when you think of Sean Taylor, what do you think? Oh, I just think of high impact player. I mean, that's what he was on the defensive side for this, this franchise from, from what I saw. As a coach, you know, you, you're always looking for that guy that can be a difference maker, that can impact the game. 
that's who Sean Taylor was for this organization. He was a high-impact player. Any question if he had finished out his career, he'd be a Hall of Famer? Oh, I, without a doubt. I, I believe if he was going to continue the way he played, yes. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.